Hey yo, and welcome back to my channel. Y'all about to clean with me, all right? So I am about to turn on my candle warmer. Y'all see I got that Bath & Body Works Champagne Toast. One of the best candles, one of the best fragrances they have. So I got this candle warmer years ago and I'll be putting it to use so much. So you just plug it up, turn it on, and let it do what it do. I decided to make this video because I just like watching them. So I'm cleaning up my kitchen and I'm just showing y'all how quickly it can become a whole mess. Y'all see the stuff on the walls like, oh my gosh, like where did all this stuff come from? So I'm loading my dishwasher, which I know my mom will probably like, mm -mm, cause she don't have a dishwasher and honey, we used to have to be busting the suds for real, for real. And even at times, y'all, I don't know about y'all, but I sometimes be feeling like the dishwasher don't do it all. But these right here, they get the job done. Cascade Platinum, I don't want to see no Kroger brand, Walmart brand. Cascade will do for me. So, um, I just showed y'all what it looks like. I'm putting it down, getting it cracking, and voila, we put it in there. I guess that's the one you're supposed to put it in. I don't know. Don't really care. Because it gets the job done, like I said. And we get to clean and turn that bad boy on. Press the button. I always put it on the heavy wash. Just works better for me. And for everything else that cannot be put in there, as y'all can see, I am scrubbing dub dubbing. I don't like to use rags. I love to use the sponges that have the scraper on the back of it. And this, y'all, this pan... The grannies will say that it's seasoned because it's been used over and over for so many things, y'all. Um, but I think I got that in my first apartment when I was like 23, so like a little over 10 years ago. And so I'm just showing y'all, you know, scrub it, wash it. And y'all can't really see my bad for the angle, but what I do, what my mama taught me was after you scrub, after you wash, you want to take your hand, make sure it doesn't feel greasy, make sure you don't feel any like rough spots because they could be like caked on food. And if you do, you just repeat the washing process, which I did, and rinse it off and put it up. I also have some um, pans that at times, you know, I'll feel like putting in a dishwasher. Other times when I know that, you know, I've been cooking and doing the most, and they just been sitting there. I normally just wash it myself. And again, I go around because I don't know. Sometimes the nonstick cookware, it still feels greasy. As y'all see, I'm feeling around, making sure it doesn't feel greasy, rinsing it off, and keeping it cracking. And one thing, y'all, that I did not even realize from, I don't know, I think I've been washing dishes since I was in like the third grade. Y'all, my mama had me and my sister. Washing dishes, she even made a list, a whole list, and put it on the cabinet so that we could uh, know the order in which we wash dishes. So leave in the comments below the order in which you wash dishes. But what I was saying was, I never noticed with mugs and, you know, tumblers that some of them say like microwave safe, dishwasher safe, other ones say hand wash only, don't put it in the microwave. Y'all, I don't know how many times I done put stuff that wasn't supposed to be in the microwave, but I strongly, strongly suggest that you always look at the bottom because it can save you some trouble in the end. This is another um, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite um, things to use in the kitchen, which is my air fryer that I got for Christmas. And I had to hop back on here, y'all, and wash it because I forgot. And that's what I'm doing. So just washing, washing, washing. And getting everything clean and out of the way because as I say all the time when you clean when you purge it makes you feel better on the outside and on the inside it goes hand in hand
so now y'all after all the dishes are cleaned and rinsed and put in the drying rack I am going to clean out the sink now I know that a lot of people say that they were taught to wash dishes with bleach um I don't recall being told to wash dishes with bleach but I understand that step in that process if you do um but I just normally depending on how much water I put in there you know let the water out um I don't have a garbage disposal so anything as far as like caked on food and things like that from dishes or pots and pans normally will be caught in the little dish drain thing so i'm using cold water because y'all know cold water will definitely get the bubbles out i learned that from the magic school bus and then i'm using hot water once all of those come out to put the dawn dish water back in there uh, the dishwasher my bad y'all the Don dish liquid soap in there and I'm cleaning it out and I'm going to scrub all sides of the sink I'm gonna scrub the inside where the water drains through I'm gonna um, just make sure it's all sparkling and clean sometimes I go back and use a sanitizing um, spray or sanitizing wipes so I make sure, like I said, that I get, you know, old food stuff. Because, you know, people just sit cups and plates and things in there. And you just want to make sure that it's all good. So I'm just going to be scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing. Making sure there's nothing caked up. Making sure everything is clean and, and shining and sparkling with that good hot water. However hot that your hands can stand. And like I said, you see the food in there that's going to be um, rinsed and then thrown into the garbage. Once I'm done, and like I said, I do both sides of the sink because most of the time dishes are on both sides of the sink. And I'm also going to do the countertops and behind the faucet and all things like that. You got to make sure you clean the sink afterwards because is it, is it even cleaning your kitchen if you don't clean the sink afterwards? Y'all better be cleaning that sink afterwards. Real top. Alright y'all, so here is my kitchen after it's cleaned. Don't mind the mat because I have another one on the way. And after about a good 35-40 minutes, I'm finally clean. I'm showing y'all the countertops. Look at that reflection coming through. Then wiped off everything. Put things back in its proper place. Swept and mopped. You know, regular broom. And I got the, the Swiffer. And um, I'm just showing y'all how everything's looking thus far and on to the living room let's go now the living room for me is one of the most used places in my apartment so everything just gets dumped here it gets dumped on the chase lounge it gets dumped on top of the coffee table and then shoes go right underneath the coffee table when i get in so y'all see i'm just picking up shirts <laughs> jackets everything that i just leave there um and girl, even clothes y'all y'all can see how it looks all of these things that need to be folded all these things that need to be fluffed up all these things that need to be put away like i said everything just gets dumped here y'all um like i said this living room in this apartment is the most common used place so um this is just me cleaning it up because i get tired of it looking like like this so y'all i say it all the time i'm grateful for my home I am, but I cannot wait until the day where I am able to get a house because there's going to be a living room where nobody can go in. 
y'all better go downstairs or to the family room because my living room is going to be a sitting room for a conversation and special events like back in the day that the grandma used to have just look how just 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 slouchy and just a mess that the couch looks to people laying all on it and just sitting all on it any kind of way y'all so y'all i'm getting it done i got boxes full of stuff i'm just carrying it through just trying to get this looking like something y'all so i'm just finishing gathering all the things off the table that do not need to be there like i got tape i got envelopes everything y'all hair care products it's a whole mess so now that i have everything clean i'm gonna come to y'all with the windex and i'm just spraying it all over the table y'all know it's glass cleaner i mean it's self-explanatory you spray 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 wipe it with a cloth and get it done so i'm just showing y'all how i normally just pop the glass out when I'm doing like a deep, deep clean, cause you know, if you sit down in the living room and you eat food or whatever, you, or just random dust, I don't know, it just all gets trapped in between the table and the glass. So I'm just taking my little cloth and I'm going to try to collect it all as I go around the, the table and just collect it in the cloth and if any of it you know was to get on the carpet it's an easy clean just sweep it up or vacuum it you know what i'm saying like i said stuff just be getting all in the cracks of the table i don't know how some of it don't know how long it's been there but that's what i normally do um like i said when i'm doing a real deep clean um i'm gonna fold it over and then just wipe down the glass Get it nice and clean, even like streaks and things like that, and um, put it on back carefully because that joint is heavy. Now, I told y'all before, when I be coming in, I just kick off the shoes, and they end up right underneath the table. So, <laughs> this is me just collecting all the shoes, the slides, the Crocs, the sandals, the Jordans, um, and I'm just going to clean them all up. And nine times out of ten, within a week or two, it's going to be another few pairs of shoes back up under the table but it is what it is y'all like i said this is a um, common space we just dump and go <laughs> so like i said i'm just collecting all these daggone shoes because all both of us are huge 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 sneaker heads um shoe heads and y'all know during the summertime us ladies we like our slides and sandals i love 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 them so I'm just cleaning them all up and putting them in a pile so I can separate them to see who's who's, where to go. And um, y'all see. Y'all will see. As you can see. Uh, they're gone. So, yes, y'all, y'all can see I use a broom over the vacuum cleaner that I have. It's just a workout for me. I feel like it's more detailed in the cleaning process. And as y'all can see, see it does mighty mighty good from the looks of the carpet it looks very clean to me so this is the final look of me you know organizing everything fixing everything up i still don't have nothing on this big old wall behind my couch but it is what it is y'all i feel so much better now that everything is clean got my candle warmer still burning so it smells delicious in here and I'm just showing y'all the view 
from, you know, from by the door and letting the sunlight in through the blinds. Got the centerpiece on there. And um, I guess I'm done for the day with cleaning. And I wanted to show y'all my little plant over here that is thriving and growing. Got a little green thumb. So thank y'all for watching. Peace.